Hey everyone, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. I hope you're all having a happy holidays. The new year is just around the corner. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like if you saw our last video, Steve was kind of ragging on me because I planned out our whole December because I wanted to make sure we got all of our activities in. Even with everything so planned out and scripted, I feel like the holiday season still just flies right by. I always have these grand visions that we're gonna like drop multiple videos throughout the week, we're gonna do all these fun activities, we're gonna vlog absolutely everything, and sometimes things fall through the cracks. But we did record a lot of the fun stuff we did during the holiday season, and I wanna share it with all of you. As you know, me and Steve, we have so many weird, crazy traditions. So tell me what you think about this one. As we continue on with our holiday traditions, traditions. this is an odd one, and this yeah. one is specifically for me. It is. So this movie came out during the holiday season when, what was the year? Yeah, I know you're it weird with years. Uh, so a he, long time ago. He knows all the years of every movie release. But it came out during the Christmas season. It's mm -hmm. Sweeney Todd with right. Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, that movie has cemented this movie as a holiday tradition for me. Yes. So, <laughs> so yes, tonight is our Sweeney Todd meat pie night. Yes. <laughs> and with that, that requires that Mike has to like slow braise. <laughs> An amazing meal, and then uses this like little like. Uh, of course, it's William Sonoma, right? It's a little pie maker. So we have like these little meat pies. We're gonna yeah. enjoy tonight. Oh, so show them. We'll show them. Oh, uh, Caleb, what do you have here? Hey, what is that? Uh, hey, I crashed yours and yours right there. You crashed it? Yeah, I crashed mine and yours. Well, okay, well, let's not do that. <laughs> so I crashed mine. All right. Ooh. But we have these like little meat pies here that Mike has made that um, is absolutely delicious. I'm excited about this. I but again, it's a, another weird tradition. Yeah. Because, you know, we throw traditions but it's left fun. and right. It's fun, though, because these are really good. So yes. I, like Steve said, I've been cooking all day. I mean, I, I've been slow cooking, so it's easy. Yes. But I basically make just classic beef bourguignon, and then I just throw it into the pie maker. So Anyhow, I, I love this tradition because, mm -hmm. again, it's, it's I know it's a weird tradition, but like the food is so yeah. good. It's all about food for us. Yes. So. He does a good job with it. So let's enjoy it. Yeah. As all of you know, it really is always about the food for us. And I just want to say those meat pies, they were delicious. Next year, I promise, I will vlog it and show you guys how I make it because you don't want to miss it. I think it was the very next day Caleb and I upheld our annual tradition of making homemade Chex Mix. So what are we making? Chex Mix. We're going to make Chex Mix? Yeah, and eat them. Yes. Are you going to be super helpful? Yeah. Okay, so what do we do? We take pretzel sticks. I like a lot. Oh, do a lot? That's probably, that makes it go faster, yeah. yeah. And then you break them in half, right? Yeah, like this. Yeah, and then they go in there, and then we'll fill two cups worth. Good job, bud. So what we did was we took these rolled gold sticks. Now, if you look on the recipe box, they use those like classic style of pretzels, but I like the lighter bite you get when you mm. use the sticks. And as you saw Caleb, he was breaking them in half. So they, they're they a little smaller. I like these ones. Yes. Like so we this. added two cups, and then we used this plant Planters salted dry roasted peanuts, and we did two cups of that. And now we're gonna add our corn checks, rice checks, and wheat checks. Um, the corn checks is my favorite, so I tend to go a little heavy on those pours. So we have added all of our Chex cereal to the bowl. I did a um, pour of five and one third cups of each. Um, that's the recipe, but I actually do, like I said, I do a heavy pour on the corn checks, and I actually do a lighter pour on the wheat checks. Um, I just like that ratio a lot better. And what I have here is a mixture of melted butter, Worcestershire sauce, and this Lowry's seasoned salt original flavor. Um, I'll put the, I don't remember what the quantity is off the top of my head, so I have posted it on the screen for you to see. So as I have this nice and melted and whisked together, I'm gonna go, please forgive me, I'm doing this one-handed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour all of it all over and I'm gonna give this a big stir and incorporate. Caleb's gonna hold the bowl for me so it doesn't move. I'm gonna go ahead it'll, and it'll stir move, it. It moved a little bit. It moved just a little bit. I think it'll be okay. It smells so good. And so what I'm doing, while I'm doing this, I'm preheating my oven to 250 degrees. So a nice low heat. 
Okay, so I poured my Chex Mix into, I'm using my turkey roaster just because I have it. Um, you could easily use um, some cookie sheets as well. And also, if you want to save on doing dishes, you could have totally, I could have totally just mixed this all in here, but I think I get better coverage when I have a big oversized bowl to mix this all up in. So once our oven is at 250, we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna bake this in the oven for one hour, but we're gonna make sure we pull it out and stir every 15 minutes. So after an hour, this is all done. And so now I'm just gonna keep it out, let it cool down, and it's gonna be ready to go. Little man went down for his nap right now, but when he wakes up, he's gonna be very excited to try this. And we got a full day of baking Christmas goodies. Um, I got my bread machine out and you can't really see in there but I am making a crusty loaf. I'm gonna be making a rosemary olive bread. So my bread is on the third stage of rising. I think that's the last one before it starts baking. It's looking pretty good. Again, this is a rosemary olive oil bread and then I went ahead and just added some green olives to it. And I know I'm gonna get this question from some of you. This is the Breville Bread Maker. I've had it for quite a few years. It's It works really, really well. It makes really great bread. I have really great results with it. And of course, I never got around to vlogging the finished product of that bread, but let me tell you, it was delicious. So good, in fact, that I've been making bread all season long. I think I made like three of those. Um, it's very, very good. As I mentioned, it was an olive oil rosemary bread, and I added green olives to it because I was trying to go for the bread that they serve at Napa Rose in Disney's Grand Californian. I'm not sure if they serve it there anymore, but it turned out great. So for this next segment, we're jumping ahead to December 23rd, where we're gonna do another Christmas craft, and we're gonna share another one of our holiday traditions, which is, on the 23rd, we eat Chinese food. One of you mentioned that the Magic Dads could have a drinking game where every time I mention William Sonoma, you take a drink. So to answer any forthcoming questions we may get, yes, my Lunar New Year plates are from William Sonoma, and also, as the evening progresses, you will notice that I get progressively more and more tired. So, enjoy. Okay, so today is December 23rd, or as some people call it, Christmas Eve Eve. So I think today we're gonna tackle this gingerbread house. All right, jumping ahead a little bit. Um, little man went down for his nap, but before he did, we put our gingerbread house together. Um, but Steve is here, so he helped put the roof on. Well, let's be honest, I had to help with the engineering. He's like, what? <laughs> the instructions say it clearly, but. The, the instructions are a little confusing, but. Well, I thought they were. Well, anyhow. We're here, we set the roof, we're waiting for it to yes. dry, and then we're gonna wait for Caleb to wake up to finish the decorating, right? Right, he's yeah. gonna do that. And then um, I, I also learned, I think next year, I'm going to buy the house that already comes assembled. <laughs> okay, look who's awake. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Yeah, and now we've already started um, decorating the gingerbread house. You saw we actually I constructed it. the house with this. Okay, but hey bud, I need you to decorate the house, not just sit and eat the candy, okay? okay? All right. I did this first row here of gumdrops and then we decided to switch out. Steve's gonna do the house and I'm gonna clean up. Decided to switch out? <laughs> Mike ruined the frosting bag, so I'm having to fix that. Right. I gotta sign the decoration. So it looks like this is one of those projects where it was like, it sounded like a good idea. <laughs> Caleb's like not into it at all. <laughs> I kind of lost interest, uh -huh. <laughs> so Steve has to finish it. <laughs> I don't have to. Maybe it'll just do one It side. looks so good though, yeah, you're doing a great job. Side. Look at that. Yeah. So this thing did come with candy, I think. Um, well, you can kind of see, I was gonna show you on the box, but it came with those little pieces over there, which isn't a whole lot. So I went out and bought some extra spice gum drops and some red vines. I think we're gonna be good, right? Sure. He's so anti. <laughs> All right, I was able to duck out because yeah. I had to order the food and we're ordering from our favorite uh, Chinese food place, which oh, is yeah. a tradition that we always do. Yes, yeah, so our tradition is on the 23rd, we always eat Chinese food. I always thought, well, the tradition was that we went to a Chinese food restaurant, but we're not going out right now, exactly. so. But Mike's over here doing his. Doing the wreath. Oh. I'm just copying the box because it just makes it easier. Oh, so you're not being creative, got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it is. I think we're gonna call it because it's getting a little bit late. Um, Steve ordered the food and honestly, Caleb has stopped decorating. He's just eating the candy and we don't need that, so. <laughs> but I think it turned out pretty good. 
All right, um, it was crazy busy. So yeah. apparently we're not the only one with this tradition. So it took a very long time. I'm really hungry and excited about this though. Yeah. So we got our little spread going on. Um, we're gonna have some Chinese food. It's our little celebration for the 23rd, right, Caleb? Egg. <laughs> All right, so what foods do we get? I'm guessing- Beef with broccoli, that's for me. Oh, you did get that, okay. That's for me. <laughs> Mike's like, oh, I don't like coffee. That's not fun. Mongolian beef. Okay. And this is Mike's favorite, General Sao. General Sao, I love it. And then of course we get a combo. So it came with our soup, so we have egg drop, plus we have Crab puffs in there, crab ragoons, and egg rolls mm -hmm. with a side of fried rice. Yeah, and we always upgrade the fried rice to get pork fried rice. Yes, we do. We didn't have pork today. Are you serious? Yeah, they didn't have The place oh. was so busy, so we have fried rice, but we don't have pork fried rice. Okay, well, okay, that's fine. I know it is. I couldn't tell if you were joking or not. No, I'm serious. <laughs> okay. No, you should have saw his face, folks. Very sad. <laughs> All right, so here is a little bit of everything. We've already showed you out there, but Daddy? I do have to crack up that while I required the beef and broccoli, I got a little bit of everything, of course, because, <laughs> are you happy? Yes, it's very, very good. Yeah? It's delicious, yes. I'm actually surprised yeah. you're trying the chopsticks, huh? Yes, I'm actually pretty good with chopsticks sometimes. What? <laughs> <laughs> now with I'm, rice. I'm actually sometimes. I mean, I have to keep like doing this thing, like here, like I reset, and then I can do it. Yeah. Sometimes he just stabs the food. <laughs> It's not a toothpick, it's a chopstick. I'm trying to like set a good example for our little one, you know? As like, you should. This is the tradition, and, you know, we're extra. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of extra, we have a lot of extra stuff in the background that I was just I know. making fun of with Mike. Like, what's the stockpile we have over here? I always get on Steve's case all the time, where it's like, if you bring home a gift, like if you buy a gift for someone, you bring it home, wrap it. Just wrap it immediately and put it on the tree. It never happens. <laughs> Hold on. Well. Oh, okay, I told the story wrong. Yes. I, I, the same thing for myself, too. I'm terrible about wrapping gifts, so we have a lot of wrapping to do tomorrow. Yeah, typically that's one of the things that he puts on me to do. I'm not doing it this time. Yeah. This is a family activity. We'll do it together. <laughs> but you know, and you know what's so funny, too, because I was thinking about when I was like kind of cleaning up and going through his stuff, I'm like, oh, we got to be careful if we release these videos because people are going to see what their gifts are. But I think by the time this video comes out, exactly. they'll have gotten it. I don't it, think so. you're going to edit it. Tomorrow morning on yeah. Christmas Eve. So. Yeah, I got a lot to do tomorrow, so. Exactly. But you know what's, <clears throat> actually we'll talk about this later. Reminded okay. me to talk about something else later, okay? Right. Dinner's over, kids in bed. Mm -hmm. We're ready to set in for our normal movies that we do every single <laughs> <Movie> year. <night. laughs> um, but I did want to say this, I did want to say about Caleb. Yes, we haven't wrapped any of our gifts, we haven't done any of that, but at least we don't have a present that we had to build the night before. Right. So we at least are saving ourselves from that problem. So yes. I, have we done that before? I think yeah, we did that with his food truck. Oh yeah, that was a thing. So <laughs> yes, we don't have to build anything. We just need to throw things in bags and wrap it up in paper and that's it. And yes. then it's time for Christmas. Yes. All right. It is the big day. It's Christmas Eve. I love this time. It's just a little after seven o'clock, but it's super, super dark outside and it rained last night. So I guess that's the best we can do in Arizona when it comes to having a white Christmas is that it rains. Steve and Caleb are still asleep. I'm actually running a little bit late because the store I want to go to, I'm going to go to the grocery store and it opens at seven. I wanted to be there right when it opened, but I want to go and get all the food that we're going to need for the next few days. And then I think I'm going to grab some Starbucks for breakfast and then we're going to come home and we're going to spend the whole day baking. All right, I am home from the store now. It's still pretty dark outside, um, but I came home and Steve has got the Christmas wrapping underway. Little man is eating his breakfast, drinking hot cocoa with marshmallows and watching his Christmas movies. Is it good? Yeah. So I wasn't very good at vlogging um, the process, but I have made chocolate chip cookies. I keep them in here. So, but I've got, oh, I'm gonna get questions about this. I put a fresh piece of bread in there because it keeps the, it keeps the cookies fresh and soft. So, but I've got a full six dozen of chocolate chip cookies and I am also making another batch of monkey bread. Guys, I've got this down to a science now. Mm, we'll see. What? <laughs> we'll see. So I was very annoyed with myself because the last video we dropped, I forgot a huge chunk of footage. Which was? And that was the whole pr second process of making monkey bread. I made it a second time and it came out much better. I like that Mike keeps on saying he made this. Like, as well, if I don't participate <laughs> at all. I know, I know. I have to handle all the messy parts, which right. today I don't think I'm gonna be able to help out with because I have a haircut in about an hour. So That's true. So we're going to well, family... Well, It'll be, we'll figure it out. It'll we'll be perfect. It so it'll be all Mike. If this one succeeds, <laughs> he can take all the credit. <laughs> so I'm about to leave the house for the haircut. <laughs> Two minutes, and Mike's like, can you please form it really quickly? I have it ready, I have it ready. Yes. 
So it's been it's been rising for one hour. Okay. And so now we're putting it out into a lightly floured surface. Steve's gonna shape it into a square and cut it up into 48 pieces. I'm not gonna be cutting. I'll, I'll, I'll That's shape fine, it. just I'll shape, shape it and I can do the rest, yes. Okay. And then I've got some melted butter here, my brown sugar cinnamon mixture, and then it's gonna go into our monkey bread pan. All right, so I made a square and Mike, with some assistance for me before I have to leave, <laughs> was able to cut it up in little pieces, so. Yeah. So I'm just gonna roll these up, dip them, and we should be good. Yeah, just keep a little bit of flour nearby because your hands are gonna get sticky after a bit. Okay. And then you should be able to dip. And then where's your pan at? Well, okay. I should get some flour. Can you pour some flour into a bowl for me? Happy to assist. All right, I got them all rolled up, dipped in the butter and the sugar cinnamon mixture, and now they're gonna hang out in here and rise for about 30 minutes, and then I'll get to bake them. And in true Magic Dad's fashion, I did not vlog the final product of that monkey bread, which is a travesty because it was the best one yet. But that was actually all we vlogged on Christmas Eve because, um, I hope you're not eating right now. As I was rolling that dough, Caleb was going to the bathroom and I heard his little voice calling me and I go in there and So as you can imagine, I was done. So with that, I think I'm going to end this video here, but don't worry and stay tuned because tomorrow we are gonna be uploading the second part of our holiday festivities, which will begin with Christmas morning. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. Christmas.